The whole idea of community advisory boards and of the participation of people affected by a pandemic comes out of HIV. The group that does clinical trials on people living with HIV is called the AIDS Clinical Trial Group, the ACTG. And it's been around for many, many years, and it hosted the trials that eventually led to successful therapy for HIV infection. So that network pivoted to do the antiviral trials for COVID infection. Then the HVTN pivoted to be the platform for the COVID vaccine trials. And the HIV prevention trial network, which helped in the development of PrEP, pre-exposure prophylaxis for HIV prevention, that group was already working on broadly neutralizing antibodies on BNABs, and they did the trials of BNABs for treatment of COVID-19. All the HIV clinical trial sites, vaccine trial sites, the ACTG, have been working in their communities for years. So those relationships came into play. That trust, all these sites have community advisory boards. The whole idea of community advisory boards and of the participation of people affected by a pandemic comes out of HIV. This came out of activism, literally showing up at the NIH and the CDC and the FDA and banging on the doors and saying, look, we're the people dying. We want a seat at this table. And they got it. And that has transformed science.